since more than 70% of the Earth is covered by water, mapping the seafloor is of uttermost importance for a large number of disciplines, including biology, geology, archaeology or energy. Compared to sonar mapping, optical mapping provides easier to interpret higher resolution textured maps. However, a single image only shows a small portion of the seafloor. Therefore, in order to have a global view, an image mosaic must be created. To this end, the European Horizon 2020 project Neanius offers the UWMOS service, providing tools for creating 2D and 3D maps of the seafloor from underwater images. This is the landing page of the service, where you can log in using your credentials. Upon successful login, you will be presented with the list of tasks provided by the service, also available in the left menu. All the tasks are configured in a similar way. In the first section, the user should provide the input images, which can be selected from local storage or from the Neanius data sharing service, this last one also including some demo data to test the service. Then, the specific parameters of each task must be configured in the second section. You can find more information on how to set each parameter in the documentation of the service. Once a task is configured, we can submit it. The progress of a submitted task is presented in the tasks list. There are several actions available for completed tasks, and you can find the meaning of each one by hovering the mouse over their icons. These actions include viewing or downloading the results, viewing the input data, sharing the results back to the user via the Neanius data sharing service or showing a report of the task execution for reproducibility, among other actions that are specific to some tasks. We will now briefly present the purpose of each task. First we have a camera calibration task, which takes a set of views of a known pattern and provides the intrinsic parameters of a camera. Then, using the calibration obtained in the previous step, we can undistort the images in order to remove the distortion produced by the lenses of the camera. Moreover, since underwater images suffer from lack of contrast and color shifting, we provide an image enhancement technique. We also provide a quality check to test the suitability of an image set to be used for mapping. Finally, we find the mapping pipelines for 2D and 3D mosaicing. In the 2D case, the result is in the form of a single image photo mosaic. In the 3D case, the result is a textured surface triangle mesh, provided in formats amenable to both web and desktop 3D viewers.